This is Patty Davis with Crooked Tree Creations. Let's get started. What I wanted to do, I want to kind of um, show you a cross wreath that I've never done. <laughs> so <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun. I took the uh, plastic canvas, just cut it out on one, you know, put it all on the one strip because uh, that plastic canvas is 24 inches long. Guess what? This is 24 inches long. So it works out perfect. So I just cut out a straight, you know, one inch thing there and then six inches on either side here. Works out great. So I actually have this plastic canvas that will keep the zip ties from moving. That's the way I see it anyway. You know, I secured it with four inch zip ties. And there's a you know, little crossbars over here. I use those crossbars to make sure it didn't slide. Hopefully that'll work. Again, I'm this is my very first attempt. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this works. Here is my cross wreath. So I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make each petal. Okay, so I have this cut it 10, it's a 10 inch roll of mesh. I cut it at 10 inches. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring it down. Okay, so it's a little triangle. And on this long side, I'm just going to scrunch. Okay, so it makes like a double petal. So I kind of wanted these to be um doubled so that um i have a feeling a lot of these would be outside so if it's going to be outside you don't want to see through it um otherwise i would have actually cut this in half so we would be using less mesh of course we want to be as economical as possible but I'll just show you right here, like you can take a zip tie and zip tie that shut. Okay. And you have a daisy petal. Okay. Now, actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this a little bit different from what other people were doing on YouTube. So again, Fingers crossed this works because it's just something I had in mind that I want to make it a little bit different. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see whenever we're done here. Okay. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to say, let's see. I'm going to use this mat here. From the very end, I'm going to go about three inches up. And that's where I'm going to put, place my first one. Actually, I'll do it on this side. And what I like to do, I like to start my zip tie. So I have already have a little hole there. Put this in and secure it. And I'm going to go ahead and do that with this again, though, I, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to actually get my zip tie started before I even make this. Cause I, you really don't need to make them ahead of time. What I wanted to do was make them all ahead of time. So I wouldn't be forming the pedal each and every time. But guess what? I'm going to have to. So see how you got these two here, which I think this is pretty. And everybody else that I saw on YouTube, they just kept going up and up and up just two each time. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do three. I'm going to do one in the center. 
And why? To do something different, something that nobody else did. So, okay. And I just want to see how it looks to have that one in the middle. And put this in over top of those two. Just to have the one in the middle. Because I think that'll kind of, I don't know, give it a little more centered look, if you ask me. But, okay, so what I wanted to do in my brain, my wild and crazy brain, I was thinking I wanted to do an ombre. So I'm going from white. I'm going to go to this lavender and white. Um, I don't know what they call it. I can't remember but it has both lavender and white going through the poly burlap. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that next. Actually, let me go ahead and put the zip ties in. And I'm gonna put the zip ties like right where that ends. see. I'm just wondering how many of these I'm actually going to need, but I think I'm going to do another three of this. Okay, so as I'm going up, again, I'm doing one on either side and then one in the middle. I'm hoping that one in the center actually, I don't know. I just think it would look better than just having the ones on either side. But then again, that's just my opinion. I'm going to go to strictly just lavender. That was like a lavender and white mix. And this is just lavender. And here, the one in this middle, I'm using this plastic canvas. What I like to do, I like to go in one hole, skip one hole, and then come out the other. And the main reason you do want to put something on the side, because you want to make sure that you're not seeing this wire. And initially, I was afraid that you would be able to see the wire through the mesh. So that's kind of why I went with a double petal, like you know, having one right behind the other like this. But if you didn't want to do that, if you wanted to cut it in half and just do one single one, 
I think you're going to have enough on top of each other that you're not going to see the form through it. So, okay, I'm going to do three more of this lavender. I'm done with the lavender going up now. So I'm going to go to the dark purple. So this looks pretty pretty nice it does have that ombre look right and what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna I have these bunches of lilies that I got from Michaels last year and I'm just gonna stick these here in the center once I'm done putting all this mesh on so okay so now I'm gonna go from over here I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna go white the lavender and white lavender purple let's start about here just about two inches in from the out yeah i'm still going to do one in the center here I'm just going to do, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do one of the lavender and white here in the middle. I'll do the two lavender on this side up here and then one dark purple. That's what I'm going to do. That'll work. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna to try to scrunch these together. Again, I don't want these to be too, too wide. But it's working out great. And then we're gonna get one of the dark purple. I am going to, I have this bunch of uh, Easter lilies that I got 
from Michael's last year. Some purple that I figure I'll use. I have this, these uh, forget-me-nots. I think these are beautiful. I think those are called like something like baby tears or something like that. Uh, this just said spring floral. I got these Joanne fabrics. So I'm going to try using these. What I'm going to do, I'm going to stick kind of get this zip tied down through here and kind of come back up the other side. Kind of get that down a little bit. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some of this greenery through here. We don't want it too, too long, but we want to make sure that it kind of goes down in there. Kind of good. Kind of go crisscross this way. Then we get some crisscrossing from the other direction. Okay, and now for these Easter lilies. I want to use at least five. I'd rather use an odd number. Because, you know, you know how they, uh, they say you should use odd numbers. With most of your crafting. I'm just going, I'm going to go ahead and tighten that up. And then I'm going to stick some glue in here too, because kind of make sure everything is good and secured. Okay, that's looking real pretty. And then I'll go ahead and put some of these I love these forget-me-nots. I just think they're a beautiful, beautiful flower. Nice and tiny. And I'm going to go ahead and glue these before I stick them in there. And just have them peeking out. Now everything is going to kind of stick to each other now instead of me having to make sure it's stuck down to the frame. Hey guys this is it this is actually huge let's think about it the frame itself is 24 inches so this is probably i'm gonna say 34 inches uh i'd say 34 inches tall and probably ah uh, let's say um 
16, 20 inches wide. So this turned out really, really nice.